Hello, Scorpio, and welcome. Zodiac sign of Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Thank you and welcome for joining me for your October 2021 horoscope for this lovely sign of a Zodiac. Scorpio sign. Sorry about that. I'm getting lots of messages, Scorpio. They're coming in intuitive. I want to thank you for joining me and let's go ahead and begin your reading. So we're going to get some moonology, Scorpio, to see what is the energy here for the new moon in Libra that's taking place on the 6th of October. That is this Wednesday. That new moon in Libra here and also Pluto is going direct. Mercury and Mars are in the mix. A personal issue reaches resolution. You could have a Cancerian moon sign that you have in your chart here, or you could be dealing with a Cancerian moon sign. This reading is going to be more focused on the emotions. Cancerian signs are very intuitive. You could be getting definitely insights right now, highly intuitive, aligning to a higher conscience level within your spirituality. Um, also, I feel with Cancerian, this could be about house and home. You could be a mother or a father figure for some of you here. Full moon in Scorpio, there you go. It's time to release negativity here. So we have a Scorpio moon sign that's joining us. Welcome, welcome. So we have this Libra moon that's going to bring in a balance here. It's time to release this negativity. There's a closed cycle, a chapter that's done, I feel. I feel it's time to be bold and make the first move. Cardinal energy here. It feels like it's a time to, to be optimistic, to be open to a change that's occurring here. Especially with this energy, confidence is coming in. You have, when Pluto goes direct, things will start to be moving forward. There's a sense of a love language here, coming strong with Cancerian. Cancerian is the mother of the zodiac, compassion, love, understanding, TLC. I feel that these are the things, Scorpio, that you're taking care of right now. You're healing on an emotional level, Scorpio. I'm getting mixed messages. I wanna say, I want to get a card out for you. I think this is your as a cross watcher I'm picking up on, but it's your person. And I'm going to go ahead and see what are their secrets. What's the thought here? We're going to jump in. Show me what Scorpio's person that's on Scorpio's mind. What are their thoughts? What are their secrets? Because I heard a message of no hard feelings. It's like no hard feelings. A learned lesson, something here from the past. Um, I feel there's a makeover happening here. I also felt there was a lot of gratitude, Scorpio. It feels like a very tumultuous season. I feel there's been an energy of a lot of hard work was put into something here. And that's releasing. That needs to go. The, the end of a, a cycle here with negativity. The hard work that was put into an area here. Let's get a card. So somebody wants to talk and somebody doesn't want to talk. There could be no communication right now from your person. It's tough to share my feelings. Yeah, they're not opening up to share how they really feel deep down inside here. This is coming in from the person you're thinking about. It's not you, it's me. It's your person. I took advantage of you. Okay, Scorpio. Yeah. I'm seeing the Ten of Wands with this. So this makes more sense. This is someone here that you went through a cycle with. On their end, it's very tough to... to exp They're not one with being authentic of telling you emotionally how I feel. I feel this is a breakdown in communication. This person's feeling in a deep um, feeling of disappointment. There's a loss. There's a regret coming in here. Your friend, your person or your friend, this could have been a friend here that you had um, benefits with. This could be someone that you were dating. For some of you out there, it just came out of my uh, mouth. 
This person feels that um, they took advantage of you in a situation, okay? For some of you, this could be a friend, someone you were dating here, a friend with benefits. Let's see. And they're not opening up to you. It's them. They're sitting right now in a feeling of uh, very lower energy. I dream of you. Mm-hmm. They're dreaming of you. They have you on their mind. You're in their emotions. You're in their heart here. But Scorpio, what it feels like is they can't face you right now in October. They're finding it hard to not face you in a situation. They're holding back. I feel your person's going through on their side a lot of hard work at this time. It feels like your person's experiencing a feeling of carrying on too much hard work, too much responsibilities. There's too much work on your person's side. So we're going to go ahead and let's get some tarot cards, the enchanted tarot I'm feeling for you, Scorpio. So Scorpio, you are going to be pushing forward once your planet goes direct. It's all about breaking old cycles also, karmic cycles here. I feel that with Libra season, it's all about balancing the karma, the truth coming in in a, in a situation. Let's see, let's get a card. Let's get three cards for my Scorpio. Where's my Scorpio? My lovely Scorpio's energy for October 2021. What is the situation, spirit? that Scorpio's in, in love, and show me what their near future is. Three cards, please. Yes, Eight of Hearts, Scorpio. Water, emotions, Queen of Hearts. We have a very heavy Cancerian here also. A mother figure for some of you Scorpios. Prince of Hearts, okay. Lots of water on the table, all about the emotions that you're going through. There's something here that hit heavy. It hit home heavy, Scorpio. I feel, Scorpio, you've been dealing with someone here who definitely feels that they know they took advantage of the situation at hand. Prince of Wands is here. Aries Leo Sag doesn't have to be. There was someone here that you were dating, that you were in a love affair with, someone here that comes in and out of your life here. I felt with the Knight of Wands being here, there was a lot of passion, there was a lot of lust, there was a lot of intimacy and a connection. I felt that definitely you put your guard up. Someone here definitely um, felt very defensive, Seven of Wands. This person here I felt was, um, it felt like a perseverance. This person here was Nine of Hearts, okay? Nine of Hearts, single, someone here that was inconsistent, someone here that came back and forth, and Nine of Cups, someone here that's very satisfied, someone here that likes to drink, that likes to party, that likes to be an adventurous lifestyle here. And this person here took a stand, and they were mostly sitting in the Nine of Cups, even though you are their heart's desire here. Your person here, like I feel, they can't face you after what took place. There was conflict, five of wands. There was definitely um, an energy here of disagreements, competition, conflict in a situation here. It could have taken place here. You have Venus and Taurus. So the Hierophant is here. For some of you, someone here was in a commitment, I feel. I feel if you were in a commitment here, this has to do with your home, your foundation, your family. I feel this person here, there was someone here that was very jealous. There was a two-facer around this connection here. Someone here that was telling deceitful lies, gossiping that was taking place here is what I feel. I feel definitely that was in the background here of this person. I feel this person was, was very popular in their community, but they were someone here who was single is what I feel. Very single, um, not attached to anything. I feel that it was very tough for them to open up to you here. Yeah. Seven of Wands. They put up a guard when it came time to talk to you, to clear, to come to clarity in the situation here. So you have two knights on my table, Prince of Hearts and Prince of Wands. I feel in the near future, Scorpio, you have new love. 
I feel this is what is coming in, something here that is in the near future unseen, Knight of Cups. There's a new passionate love offer, something here that's very romantic that's coming in. Queen of Hearts, you're attracting this new love into your life. It's very fresh, it's very new. It feels like something here that you walked away. I feel this is a situation, Eight of Cups. There was a huge disappointment. You walked away from someone I feel in the past here. I feel the Eight of Hearts is letting me know. You could have had eight years with someone here. There's a number eight in this situation. I feel this is a personal issue that resolution is coming to. Yeah, Queen of Hearts, very much a lot of love into this situation that you felt you poured into, that I felt did not work. This was someone here that was a player. I feel you have new love coming towards you. We're gonna go ahead and clarify this new love. We have a new start, the Prince of Hearts. Someone, whether it's a male or a female, doesn't matter, this is all energy. Show us what we need to see for my lovely Scorpios for October 2021. Seven of Cups, Two of Swords. A lot of confusion, a failing here of being at a crossroads. I feel you have choices in love. There's options in love at this time. I feel that they're definitely at a crossroads in love. It feels like you now have options with the Seven of Cups, the Strength card, and the Two of Swords. There's something here that you're trying to overcome. You're trying to, there's someone here that's trying to master their emotions, Leo energy. It's like gaining wisdom in a situation here, okay? And detaching. It's like enough is enough. Queen of Swords. It's like definitely someone here is cutting someone out. Someone's detaching. I feel communications coming in from that Queen of Swords. That could be Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Someone here that's being very firm, they're using logic, and they're making a cut. Yeah. It's like this person, as this person tries to leave to move forward, someone here, it's this person's coming in with communication. Someone here that sees this person, Six of Wands, I feel you're seen in the limelight, Scorpio. I feel you're someone here who's becoming very self-confident at this time, Six of Wands. You're making progress. It feels like you could be an entrepreneur. You could be an artist. You could be someone here who's very talented with the energy Queen of Hearts. It feels like Queen of Swords, lots of air, clearing the air. Someone here is definitely spying on you. Someone could be stalking you, Scorpio. This person's very curious about you. There you go, Scorpio. Someone here definitely had an ending, I feel. With Pluto coming in, death and rebirth. There's an ending here. Someone wants to, someone needs closure. Someone needs closure on a connection here because there's still love here. Okay. What is the immediate past for my lovely Scorpios out there? What is the immediate past? Ten of Cups, Four of Wands. You were in a relationship in a past with this person. You and this person thought that things would lead to the Ten of Cups, Four of Wands marriage. You had um, dreams of, of having children, having a family with this person, Scorpio, is what I feel. For some of you, you were in a marriage with this person. This was someone here that you have children from. Yep, Six of Swords in the past here. Air energy, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Fire, Aries, Leo, Sag. In the past here, it was like, it was very hard to move on from this person. Um, it felt like there was a lot of baggage here. There was a family. There was children for some of you here. For some of you here, it wasn't easy to move away. Eight of Cups. There was a lot invested. There was a lot of love here. I feel there was disappointment in a relationship. Something that started off here could have lived with this person. You could have had um, definitely a stable foundation with them at one time. And it was hard to move past this person. But you did with the full card. With the full card Aries energy here, it's like you definitely walked away from someone here in the past that was painful. You took a leap of faith forward here and you started a new beginning, I feel. I feel you didn't let anything hold you back with this Eight of Cups and uh, the Aries energy. Where are you presently, Scorpio? Where are you presently? You made a deep transition, yeah. And now you're at the point where you're analyzing of what do you see a, f a future on? Seven of Pentacles. 
It feels like you're taking a pause at this time with Seven of Pentacles right in my hand. And you're someone here, could be in the sunshine with Leo energy. There's something here that's very positive. There's a reward that you're invested in that you're seeing. Very positive in your career, your finances at this time. It's like there is a positive investment that you're making, Scorpio. I feel this is about your pentacles here. I feel that you've been waiting and here it comes. Something here that's very, it's going to make you extremely happy with the sun card. This is something here that brings in success, material success. Two of Pentacles. Choices, choices. Two of Pentacles. There is also an imbalance here. I feel with the Two of Pentacles, you could be trying to manage and gain prioritizing focus on a work situation here is what I feel for some of you. This could be a work from home situation for some of you here. For some of you here, this Two of Pentacles is choices in love is what I feel. We're gonna clarify, Queen of Pentacles. You're very grounded coming in October, Scorpio. I love it, the water, the water zodiac signs are coming in, grounding in in October. You're thinking practical. You're thinking about your home, about your family, about your children. You want safety and security. So it's like whatever you're looking at right now to invest in, you're planting a new seed. And this seed here is going to bring in abundance with the Queen of Pentacles. It feels like with the Sun card, something very positive is on the horizon here. I feel this is something here also that you're invested in. This could be a partnership. This could be someone here that has Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. What is in the near future for my lovely Scorpio? What is in the near future for my lovely Scorpios? Seven of Swords is in the near future. Someone here that you don't trust. There's trust issues here. Page of Pentacles. It feels like someone is coming in after all here with an apology. Someone here is coming to face you. It was very tough for them to face you in a situation. This person knows they took advantage of you in the past. Someone's coming in with an apology. This is something here, Page of Pentacles, could be a younger earth sign. Yes, there's the hope, there's the, there's the spirituality. A personal issue will reach resolution. It's time to release all negativity of the two moon sign cards. Be bold and make the first move. Aquarian energy here. There's hope for a reconciliation that your person's coming in with. Someone here is definitely could be, you could be resonating with an Aquarian energy, a Leo, okay? Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, water heavily, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Six of Wands, this leads to victory after a battle. There was a battle here is what I feel. I feel Aquarian energy is air. It's all about innovation. It's all about creativity, um, gaining recognition, um, having self-confidence, making progress, and most of all, healing. There is a major healing that's taking place here is what I feel with Aquarius energy. Everything is moving forward into Aquarius. We have Saturn going back in Aquarius and we have Jupiter on the 18th going direct in Aquarius. And then a full moon in Aries will be on the, on the 20th. So there is a higher perspective coming in. There's something here where confidence is going to be back and running. I feel, definitely, I'm feeling it for the water signs. Six of wands, nine of cups, wish fulfillment. This is wish fulfillment. This is having um, happiness, joy, fulfillment that's coming in. Gaining this after a very difficult time is what I feel that's coming in for you with nine of cups, queen of pentacles. Yeah, this is a partnership. This is two people making a grounded decision here and finding a balance between this connection here, I feel. I feel there's definitely an apology coming in from someone here that you were in a partnership with, someone here that walked away, someone here that's definitely feeling very wounded. This Queen of Swords was very hurt is what I feel. I feel there's someone here that is either getting ready to walk away so I do feel like you're getting ready to detach with the Eight of Cups twice. It's like two people that are losing hope in a connection. Someone here is definitely cutting um, away a connection, moving on. Eight of, Eight of Cups, Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. 
nine of wands, five of, of pentacles. Someone's feeling very wounded here. This person here is feeling left out in the cold. It feels like this five of pentacles, someone here is feeling very insecure. This person that you're dealing with at this time here is having a very difficult time. Someone here is feeling like um, they, ha they don't have any more courage. Someone's hanging on by a thread here is what I feel. Someone could have lost a uh, lack of finances here. The magician. Someone's taking a stand. This person's rising up here with the magician. Mercury can bring back exes from the past. It's retrograde in the month of October. Someone here is definitely taking control of a situation with the magician card. Someone here is starting a new beginning. They're coming in, taking action. This person wants to take action is what I feel. I feel that's what we have coming in. So let's go ahead and clarify, Scorpio. I pre-shuffled these cards already. What is this past 10 of cups, four of wands, six of swords? Yes, emperor. There was a father figure here. Take it how it resonates. There was a commitment here. There was someone here that you were with that could have been older, a parent, a father figure, will of fortune. Sagittarius energy. In the past here, you see, Aquarius, you got major arcana. Aquarius twice. So in the past, there was something here that was destined. This was destined to happen in the past with this connection here. There was good luck. There was good fortune here. You had a very stable home here, safe security in the past. It wasn't easy to move on from this connection is what I feel, Scorpio. It wasn't easy. With this connection, there was definitely a solid foundation. There was a structure here. There was happiness. There was harmony at one time here. For some of you, you have a family with this person. I feel, I feel with this Aquarius energy here, there was definitely a lot of stardom in this connection. Very, very um, loving family at one time here is what I'm, I'm feeling here. I feel it wasn't easy to move on from. Six, uh, seven of pentacles, karma. Okay, so karma is all what Libra is all about, Libra season. It's all about the truth coming in. Um, it's all about fairness, balance, blowing the horns, ending of a karmic cycle here. Uh-huh. And now the queen of pentacles. Now look at this. There was a third party situation. There's too many people here. Queen of pentacles for some of you here is in reverse. There was a broken home, a broken partnership here between this king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles. We have king of wands and karma here. So what I feel is <coughs> there was somebody here that had an imbalance in their commitments. Somebody here um, was definitely king of wands. Somebody here was very fiery, very passionate. There was two people here is what I feel. It could have been a love triangle. Seven of swords. I feel you went through a tower moment with this person already here in the past. Scorpio. Let's clarify this karma. Yes. And the shadow side. So Scorpio, you are really going through um, facing your insecurities at this time. Shallow side and karma is what I feel is here. It, it's definitely with these two cards and temperance, okay? Sagittarius energy, divine timing is here. There's definitely a deep, deep, deep transformative energy that you're going through right now. This could be in your career. This could be in work and partnerships. Um, I feel that there's something here that you regretted or this could be, you could flip the, the scripts. Something here where it feels the shadow work that was required, you put the work in. You're at the seven. You're at a completion of integration going through the Scorpio, through the cocoon, because there's going to be a rising of the ashes here, a phoenix rising that's coming in. Time, patience is needed. Moon, energy, seven of swords, going through purification at this time is what I feel. I feel... Whatever this is, it's going to change your mindset with the Seven of Swords. It feels like you're going through facing your insecurities, the deep subconscious within the depths 
up beneath the surface, you're going through this purification where you're going to come out of this, coming into your true essence, your true authenticity, coming back to who you truly are. This is the diamond fire that I feel you're going through. Just like the pressure underneath the of the diamond. It has to go through that that angle, at every angle, the, the, the rainbow colors and then the white light. Consciously aware. You are definitely becoming, yeah, you're definitely becoming awakened to who you are. Your true authentic self is who you're becoming. You're going through a huge transformation. Why is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse? King of Cups. So we got a King of Cups, Queen of Cups, Queen and Kings of the Suits of Cups and Pentacles. There was a very balanced, stable, loving commitment here. I feel with the King of Cups coming in, Queen of Pentacles here, could have definitely, there was an imbalance within home and family. There was a lot of extremes that this relationship I feel is going through. I feel this is a twin flame connection, Scorpio, that's coming in. King of Wands, there's a lot of kings here. So I feel there's a love triangle. I feel that someone here could have been in a partnership with this King of Cups. This could be someone here who has children, that you have children with. I feel this King of Wands, like with the Two of Pentacles, there's two people. For some of you here, you have options. Yes, King of Wands and the Nine of, of uh, Swords. There's a lot of overthinking of what to do. There's a choice here. Someone here that you have a lot of doubt in this connection. It feels stressing, worried about a connection here with someone. One more. Yes. Stressing over someone here who is very deceptive. This person's very sneaky. This person here is does have options in love. There's someone here that's fiery. Aries, Leo, Sag could have air in their chart also. It feels like there is a sense of juggling between two different people here. Scorpio is what I feel. This person here is coming in, um, definitely has other options is what I feel. You have seven of swords twice. Yes, options. So it's clarifying to me, this seven of swords with the two of pentacles, king of wands. This is someone who's single, someone who is um, in a platonic relationship, like to keep things open. This person has someone else on the side. This person's a bachelor. Boom, power, a breakup, a shakeup is happening here. Scorpio, it feels like there is definitely an ending here. Mars and Scorpio. What's the page of Pentacles? King of Pentacles in reverse now. So, hmm, there's a huge imbalance here. There's a controlling energy here. Um, there's a commitment that's ending. Yeah, it's ended, Scorpio. Ending a cycle here. There's a transformation that's taking place. A huge one with a, with, a, with a partnership. Someone here that you were in a commitment with, I feel, is coming to an ending. Six of Cups. The past is returning. Someone from your past that you've had an imbalance with, they're coming in. Someone's coming towards you quick. Six of Cups, Cancerian, the Chariot. Someone could be traveling towards you. There's a huge transformation. I feel wherever there was an ending, things are about to have a new start. There's a fiery There's a fiery energy coming in here at the end of October. I definitely feel um, there's somebody here that's coming in compromising. This is Mars and Scorpio. Yes. It's going to be in your relationships. Someone's coming in to compromise is what I feel. I feel there's a huge change. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Yes, this is going to be reward and victory to a partnership here. Someone here that you were in a commitment with. Someone that you were married to, that you had stability with. Magician. Someone manifested this. 
This is someone here that's coming in that's ready to take control. They're ready to make it happen. This is definitely Mercury retrograde coming in. Someone from the past. Someone that you want, that someone here that's coming in. I feel Four of Cups. You might say it's too late, Scorpio. Yeah, because there's something here that's hidden. The High Priestess. I feel you know this. I feel you know it. You trust your intuition. You could be definitely um, getting psychic. Um, you're a psychic. You're getting psychic readings on this relationship. I feel whatever's a mystery is coming out here. Queen of Swords. What's the Queen of Swords? Two of Cups. Sacred Union. Someone's coming in to communicate. This person's going to be very blunt. This could be your energy. It's like telling it like it is, being very firm, using logic here. It's like you could smell the bullshit a mile away, Scorpio, here. You're coming face to face, I feel, with a soulmate. Someone here that you put a block up against. Someone here that you've been um, challenged in a relationship. Someone's putting up a guard. This could be the Queen of Swords putting up a guard. Because here comes the Ace of Cups. Someone here wants to take a higher stand. This person here. There's a test of resistance and a connection. Perseverance is what I feel. I feel there's a test in your union. And someone here is ready to bring in a renewal to the soul sacred union, Scorpio, that's coming in. Yeah. So we're at 3143. Let's end it off with a romance advice for my lovely Scorpios. Wow. Flirting, extend your lighthearted energy and retreat. Cancerian just had this. You could be connecting to a Cancerian. Same thing here. Someone here wants to retreat. This person here wants to disconnect. This could be someone that's coming in here that you're meeting, Scorpio, also here. Someone that wants to take a little holiday time with you. This person's flirting with you. You could be defending yourself at this time. There also may be a religious factor. There could be a difference here between where you were brought up. There could be a difference of different religion. Upbringing on your spiritual path here. Oops. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now, Scorpio. Very soon. Romantic feelings are here. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. There's true love here. I feel that you deserve love. You are lovable here. Bullseye. Mm -hmm. Changes. Huge transformation in October here. Past life connection. You do have a past life connection here with someone, is what I feel. You have known this person in another lifetime, Scorpio. You get that card a lot. I do feel it. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. We'll see you soon. Have a blessed month. Thank you. Thank you for your subscribes and your likes. I am available for private readings. You can get me down below in the description if you should need one. Thank you so much.